Alright everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we have a whole bunch of LEGO minifigure reviews. We have four or five series here. We have the brand new series 17. We have series 14 or 13, not sure which one, probably a little bit of both. We have series 14, the monster series, and we have the Disney series. Uh, let's get to it with the ones I think are 13 and 15 mixed. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, let's start off. For starters, we have the... Oh, there we go. For starters, we have the janitor, which has a nice little mop. Uh, I The original build for him, the mop was supposed to be like this, which I don't think is a good look on the mop. I like it more like, well, the way I had it before, like this. I like it like that. Um, nice janitor mold, especially if you're making a custom series with a high school or something. Um, excellent if you have the Minecraft water bucket, because it goes great with this. Um, yeah. So, there's our first minifigure. Let's go on to the next one. We have the dark blue samurai, which has a new color for the katana. It's like a sand color. So I'm going to guess these are made out of wood. If it was a real person, these would be made out of wood. He does have a face. Um, great if you're making a sensei or a student or just a mysterious samurai. Um... I like the new mold for the Kendo helmet, from which started in Ninjago. Uh, they had, it was only gray and I think white or silver bars. I like how it's dark blue, red, and silver now. Um, yeah. On to our next minifigure, we have the Indian girl with feather on top of her head. And she does have a little baby wrapped up in a blanket. Which she can hold, or you can put on her back. But, yeah. Um, nice little face mold and everything. Um, yeah. It's a good mold, especially if you're doing like a Lewis and Clark thing, or like a time series. Or if you just like collecting these. I like collecting and other stuff. On to our next minifigure, we have the guy on crutches who slipped on a banana. I don't know what this minifigure's real name is, but that's why I gave him. Uh, he does come with crutches, a broken leg, which I wish the leg, he had different color leggings instead of dark blue. If he had a black or a green, that would work great for Lego Ninjago Season 3, The Final Battle. Uh, that would work great for it. Um, for the Lloyd, because, spoiler alert, if you've not seen it so far, he does break his leg when he's fighting his father slash the Overlord. Um, yeah. He, his head's wrapped up. Uh, he's got a banana t-shirt on, black eye, a little bit of bruise there, and, uh, two band-aids. Who could have thought a band-aid, uh, banana peel could have done this? On to our next figure, we have, I'm, I call him the Dark Knight. Um... Because if you look at his face, he does look like uh, evil and stuff. And his armor's got like a dark hint gray metal to it. Um, he's got a shield with a bear. It's kind of like a maroon and a very, very dark orange. His mace, it, this headpiece right here, it's a build. Um, you can take it off. Um, oh, uh, yeah, there's that one. Uh, I'm going to skip our repeat and go on to the one behind it. This is the Cyborg Warrior Boy version, 
in the series 16 we got a cyborg warrior female version um this one has wings a whole lot of silver on it which is good and a blue lightning blade i'm guessing i don't know um yeah some really nice light blue hands and uh i really like the wings you could use that for a good custom build or if you just like collecting these uh let's go on to our next one which is the farmer who has a pitchfork a really nice straw hat and a pig now his face if it was like a light nougat color which is what they call the skin color in lego um this would look like a human version of what was his name uh uh yoda's padawan that turned evil or obi-wan's padawan or someone's padawan um the one that anakin killed with the weird lightsaber handle I, for some reason, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, Darth Trionis? I uh, forgot what his real name was. If you guys know what his name was, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, this looks like if he was a farmer and stuff. Uh, the pig will not stand on the plate with the farmer. That's why it's off the plate. Um, yeah. On to our next figure. We have the Queen of England herself. Now, every series does have a figure that doesn't have normal legs, and I'm talking about, like, these legs or the short kid legs. Um, like, uh, the block for Cleopatra, or this one like this. Um, I don't know why they made it so big and stuff. Uh, she does have a golden crown. Um, uh, I do like this part right here. Good for a king build, if you have a king minifigure uh yeah that's it for that one and on to our repeat we have another blue samurai yeah uh so that's that series let's get them out of the way and on to our next series which is the series 14 monster series we're starting off with the skeleton costume kid with a jack-o-lantern uh trick-or-treat bag uh this is a normal minifigure you can see by the eyes and the little string um really good costume now the monster series it was based around monsters and not actual people kind of i guess uh so this is the only human we really get in the series on to our next minifigure we have the werewolf which uh, there was another series, uh, that had a lumberjack in it, who had this exact print shirt and pants. So my theory was, well, one night he was, you know, doing his job, and he got bit by a werewolf. And this is him now, so they brought him back into another series. And he, and his axe, I guess, he traded in for a bone and stuff, I don't know, but, yeah. I just like how they may have brought it back and stuff. Um, good figure. Um, let's go on to the next one. We have the zombie businessman. Which is just a zombie in a business suit. A newspaper that says brains. And a black suitcase. Um, yeah. His glasses are broken. You can see he has one red eye showing. I'm guessing the other one's under the other glass. His tie's all messed up, and so is his outfit. Um, yeah. Um, let's go on to the next one. We have, uh, another repeat. I'm gonna skip it. We have va the Vampire Queen with a re red poisonous spider, I'm guessing. These are plastic. Her skin's white, really good. Uh, if you look in her hair, you can see a silver spider web with a silver spider in it. Her little cape and I guess whatever you call that thing up uh, is a spider web. 
uh, she has spiders all over her, too. Um, yeah. On to our next main figure, we have the Shock and Roll uh, Frankenstein. I really like this because it comes with a new form of the guitar. Uh, it's got like a blue vet, uh, blue jean jacket vest on with a black t shirt underneath. He has a lock necklace on his, uh, around his neck. This is, it does say shock and roll on the back. Sorry if you can't see, for some reason my camera is blurted out. Um, he has a little bat on his guitar and stuff, or bass. Um, yeah, that's him. And on to our repeat, we have another skeleton kid. Yeah. And uh, that's it for the monster series. So let's go on to the next one, which is a big series. So this may be a two-parter video. I'm not sure. Um, first off, we have Mr. Incredible with a comic. Uh, said uh, or poster saying, "Doing our part with his old blue outfit." Uh, if you can see that, I'm not so sure. Um, he's got a couple of superheroes in there. Flying off when it's running. Good mold of hair and stuff. I wish they came out with the other incredible figures for this line, but they didn't. And I guess since we're starting off with one of the Incredibles figures, we should end off with the other. Let's go to our next me figure with Syndrome. Uh, which is the other Disney figure in this series. Which has uh, plans for the Omnidroid 7. The thing in the movie, yeah, really nice orange, like, flame hair, um, good cape, no capes. <laughs> if you might have got that quote, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess we can go on to regular Disney or stick with the movie stuff. I think I will go on to our next figure, we have Daisy Duck. Or, I think her name's Daisy, I'm not sure. With a pink bow tie. I don't really like this figure because it's more feminine and stuff. I don't, I don't really like it that much. Although, this figure uh, does make a lot more sense to have him in. We have Donald Duck with his blue sailor outfit and stuff. And, um, yeah. Nice hat. You can swap the hat 